In this video, we will see how to make a simple design and add special finishings, such as metallic silver foil, to your Packley Box in Affinity Designer. Go to File, Open, select the die cut template you downloaded on Packly. Choose to load only the first page. Make sure the resolution is set to 300 dpi. Set color space to CMYK. In the Layers window, select the first curve layer. Scroll down while holding Shift. Select the last layer, then right click on the selected layers and choose Group. Now move to Stroke. Increase its size till you see the die line clearly. Go to File, Document Setup, set the parameters as follows. Print, Custom, and Millimeters. Under the Dimensions tab, increase both dimensions by 12 millimeters. Select Anchor to Page, select the center, then hit OK. Rename the die line level. Create a new layer for your artwork. Drag it below the die line. Select the artwork layer and pick the rectangle tool. Use the rectangle tool to cover the whole die line. Now choose a background color for your box. Move to File. Open. Select your logo. We used a vector logo for this tutorial. Go to Edit. Copy. Go back to the die line file. Go to Edit. Paste. Using the black arrow tool drag the logo onto your box. Increase its size by dragging one of its anchor points, and position it however you see fit. Pick the rectangle tool once again. This time use it to cover the top flap of your box. Make sure you reach the green outside bleed lines. Choose a color you want for your flap. Select the rectangle you just made and move to layer. Choose convert to curves. You can use the node tool to add nodes to your rectangle. Use the nodes to edit its shape and make sure everything is aligned correctly. Now repeat the process for the bottom flap. We advise you to lock all of the layers you're done working on to prevent unwanted changes. Go to File, Place, select your image. Drag the image onto your box and place it on any side of your box. To make a clipping mask, select the rectangle tool. 
Use it to draw a rectangle on the side you want your image to be placed on. Make sure the rectangle is aligned to the red fold lines of the die cut template. Now move to the layers window and drag the rectangle thumbnail upon the image. This will result in a clipping mask. To add a metal silver foil finishing to the box, move to the swatches tab. Click on the options icon in the top right corner. Choose add global color. For the silver foil, you must name the swatch raised silver foil, exactly as it is shown in this tutorial. Complete with caps and dashes. Choose a color for your swatch. This is just a display color to help you visualize the final result. Select both the spot and the overprint checkboxes. We can create a simple graphical decoration by drawing a series of rectangles. Just make sure you assign the newly created global color to each one of them. Once you're done, you should be left with two layers, one for the die line and one for the artwork. Lastly, go to File, Export. Choose to export your file as a print PDF. Select the Don't Export layers hidden by Export Persona checkbox. Go to More, scroll down till the end, deselect the Allow Advanced Features checkbox, then Close. Hit on Export, assign a name to your file and that's it. 